what I did then is I created a simple tool, a simple macro command. I call it lazy commands, right? That could hide all of my annotations temporarily regarding if it is a um, in a different layer or so on. So the way I did it, let me show you today how I did it really quick. So again, I created a macro command and for that, I open it, my new, it's almost brand new, but it's called uh, command uh, macros right here. So if you open that up, command macros again, you will see and find it over here on your AutoCAD interface, right? And again, if you don't have these command macros uh, palette, don't worry because I'm gonna also show you later um, how you can do or have this command from the tool palettes, right? Everybody will have two palettes. So don't worry about that, I'll show you later. But for now, let's focus on the command macros. So at this point, um, I had a couple of uh, recommendations from AutoCAD, right? So what I did is grab one of those and um, right click on it and then um, click where it says command macro editor. So at this point I have this, uh, so I, I can rename my uh, new macro command. In this case, I call it um, lazy anno Right, right, because this command will hide all of my annotations, either um, text, leaders, um, M text, basically anything, right? So that's the name I gave it. And then over here under the macro option, of course, I have this macro right now that it is for another command that Oroka recommended me, but I don't need it. So that's why I'm reusing it, right? So over here, what I did is simply erase all of this and keep the CC because this is a way to cancel any running action or command uh, that the user, in this case, you or me, uh, were using at the time. So that's fine, CC. And I'll use this uh, underscore to start a expression, a selection expression that is called SSX, right? So once I did that, um, I said none for the um, for the entities, right? And then after this, I say E for entity. So what entity I'm trying to select here, right? In order to hide. So I started adding the entity text, right? like so, simply text. And then um, I said at this point, so I said text and then, but of course we only, uh, we don't have only text in AutoCAD, we also have M text, right? So then I needed to add also M text, like so. So at this point I have text and M text, I cover both of those, right? So at this point, I could simply say or utilize the height objects command. So I'm gonna do height objects. Like so that's a command inside AutoCAD. And then why are, why are we hiding, right? Well, we are hiding our previous selection that we did with the SSX. So we selected all of our text and M text. So then I could use the pre option for previous. So look what happened now when I test this command, right? So before we test this, uh, let, let, we have a comment on the chat and it's Felicia Hernandez. Hi, Felicia. Buenos dias, Lacey Arquitecto. Gracias por la transmisión en vivo. Bendiciones. Uh, she is just saying in Spanish, uh, good morning, Lacey Arquitecto. Thank you for today's live stream and uh, wish you best uh, luck for you. So thank you, Felicia. And let's keep moving. So, 
So we were about to test this, right? We are selecting all of our text and M text, and we are hiding those objects with the previous option. So let's test that really quick by simply clicking OK. All right, so let's test that. Again, command, lazy, and height. So I'm going to click like so, and boom, you can see that all of your text and M text were um, hidden, right? As you can see. However, we for annotations, we only don't have text and M text. We also have this. Let me check. So this is a multi leader, right? And what is this? This is a leader. So you can see we have uh, more annotations. In this case, this would be a dimension, right? So dimension and what is this also? This would be a table, right? An AutoCAD table. So let's add those options to quickly finalize this tool or command. So let me undo that with Control Z. Like so, so I can bring back all of my annotations. So let's go back on there the command macros and right click and pick command macro editor. So we can simply expand these and add a couple of more options. So, so far we have text and M text. So let's um, add um, more annotation objects, in this case dimension, right? dimension and then we also have multi-leader so multi-leader and finally we also have a table right or yeah table so i'm gonna do a cut table oh we forgot we have also leaders not only multi-leaders so i'm gonna add leader like so. All right. So I think so far we covered all of our annotations. So uh, let's click OK at this point. And before we test uh, our final command, we have um, a comment, a comment on the chat uh, saying, uh, please check the video. It's clear. Um, I I think the video is clear, right? Um, I didn't do anything different from other live streams. Uh, so maybe it's your internet, um, my friend, because I see everything that is clear so far. But thank you for letting me know. Um, right, so let's quickly test the command again. So let's see Anu height. So let's click on it and boom, you can see how beautiful it works. It hides temporarily all of our, all of your annotations, including tables, multi-leaders, leaders, text, M text, and so on. So simply at this point, I could simply uh, send this drawing to my client, so I don't have to worry about layers, freezing, changing layers, and so on. So in order to unhide this, simply you can use the uh, unhide option, right? the unhide or an isolate object and you can see all of your annotations will come back all right so that's the lazy anno and uh, height now let me show you if, you if you don't have this macro command macros palette let me quickly show you how you can do this on the tool palette so for that um, i'm simply gonna copy the macro right that we just created so i'm gonna Select it and then simply using Control C, I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna go to my tool palettes, right? To open your tool palette, simply use Control 3 on your keyboard and you will have it like so. So at this point, you can right click and say a new palette. So once you do that, you can rename your, your new palette over here by simply right clicking and rename and you can rename it macros or as you wish right so at this point uh, you can drag anything from uh, your drawing in by left clicking on it and moving it to the tool palette and releasing it like so so at this point 
we can right click and uh, pick properties, right? So once we do that, uh, we can rename our command. In this case, lazy anno height. And then we can change the uh, macro over here by simply pasting with control V our macro code and simply click OK. So that's how you do it on the tool palette. You can simply uh, test it now by clicking on it like so. So here is another lazy command or macro.